Previously on Cognition. We've got to find the cane killer before he hurts Scott. <laughs> Scotty died three years ago. Come on, Skippy. Davies will have our asses if we don't show up ten minutes ago. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? White male, cause of death, strangulation. They're getting worse. I told you to go see someone about that. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Cordelia? Someone I met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. I need that package. It may provide clues to an ongoing investigation. Anthony Longmore was a killer. But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, then who killed him? We make a good team, don't we? It's Davies. She's a target. <sighs> Sully, John, the suspect is on the run. And, and I found Davies. McAdams sure got here fast. DC is only a two hour flight. I know, but that doesn't mean I like it. It wasn't exactly solve cases in rainbows for me when he used to be our director. How are you holding up? What happened at the meeting house was... I don't want to talk about it, Sully. I'm about to go over it again with McAdams and I just want to break for a few minutes. Yeah, okay. If you want to though, well, you know. What do you want to talk about? How's your case going? This thing's a piece of work. Sicko going out there and cutting out people's eyes, their ears, and their tongues. I'm calling her the wise monkey. Cute. Huh? Yeah, there was a partial fingerprint on one of these little charms, like from a bracelet that were left at the crime scenes. Came back matching the prints from this missing girl. Plus, she used to take lessons from the latest victim, a retired opera singer. Pretty vicious stuff. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to let anything surprise me anymore. Thanks for your help earlier. A anytime. Hey, you need help, I'm your man. It was nothing. <laughs> it wasn't nothing, Sully. I appreciated it. Like I said, we're a good team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not bad. How you been lately? We haven't talked much in a few weeks. Yeah, that'll happen when you don't return my calls. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's not that I don't like you, Sully. I do. It's just not something I can talk about yet. I get it, Erica. Everyone's got secrets and baggage and shit. I've got mine. Hell, we're FBI. It's practically part of the job requirements. <laughs> not to mention one of the job risks. Why don't we grab a drink after we're done here? <laughs> Sully, it's 2 a.m. All the bars are closed. There's always beer in my fridge. What do you say? Toss back some Sam Adams and bitch about Sam McAdams? <laughs> it would be fitting. <sighs> and I could use a beer after the day I've had. Hi. I heard y'all had some night owls in need of coffee up here. Yeah, thanks. Sounds good. Here you are, darling. How about you, hun? No, thanks. I'm jittery enough. Are you the new office assistant? That's me. Just started last week. My name's Tess. Let's see. Y'all must be Erica. <laughs> they must have told you about the hair, huh? Only redhead in the building. You're up, Red. 
I'll see you kids in the morning. After later today. God damn, it's late. Oof. Good luck, Erica. Thanks. Special Agent Reed. Director? It's late and I'm not interested in wasting time. How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? I tried. I fired at the killer. The bastard just kept dodging. Dodging bullets? This isn't a comic book, Agent. I'm telling you what I saw, Director. I fired and the killer never got hit. If you have any doubts about my aim, just talk to the guys at the shooting range. Why did the killer choose the Old South Meeting Hall? It's the site where Samuel Sewell repented for his involvement in the Salem witch trials. The killer was drawing a parallel between him and Davies. She got an anonymous email mentioning him recently, too. That email was in Madison's inbox. What were you doing snooping around in here, Agent? I know I shouldn't have, but Davies was missing. I had to do something to find her. I don't need to tell you to never let it happen again. Now, tell me what you know about this mess. Someone was in communication with Davies, telling her things about Antony Longmore, the hangman. She wrote it off as a kook, but when he showed up dead, she looked back into it. So first this person was helping her, then hunting her? He got angry when she didn't listen, but the threat was always there. If Davies had followed up on the leads, she would have seen that she was a target. What have you got to prove this? Here. The facts pointed to the post office and a piece of the Le Pendu, and those scraps from a picture of Davies. So, if it wasn't Goodman getting revenge on Longmore, then who was it? I don't know yet, but I'm not going to stop until I find out. You? I don't think so, Agent. You're not on this case. <sighs> I thought you'd say that. Let me guess. I'm too close. Got it in one. I'm surprised to hear it from you, though. I expected you'd pitch another fit like you did with Kane. I'm glad to see you've learned better. That was... different. It was my brother, McAdams. I'm not as close on this case. Spare me. I've heard it before. The fact is, your performance ever since then has been sporadic at best. Sporadic? Don't get too upset. It happens to the best agents after a loss like that. But it's been three years, Erica, and your performance is all over the place. Some cases you're solving almost before the ink dries on the evidence reports. Others are getting drawn out far too long. You need to get your shit together. I can't risk this in the hands of someone who isn't consistent. I'm trying to get it together. Especially now. You think I like- What was that? We're silly. Holy shit! That earring! Shit, that, that Sully's! Where is he? I'll check the front. A silver jewelry charm, shaped like a guitar. He just dropped it. Sully's ear. She cut his fucking ear off. They must have gone down the fire exit stairs. After them. What the? My tires are freaking slashed! Damn it! Oh, 
McAdams, they're gone. Took off in a dark sedan. Because the bitch slashed my tires, that's why. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Son of a- ah! Ah! Slashed my tires. My spare tire. I paid extra for a full tire. Not that it helps when all four of mine are slashed. My tire iron. Belongs to someone from the office, but I don't know who. What was that noise? <clears throat> Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Got it. Tess? You're not. Hang on, I'll get you out of there. Tess, how are you feeling? Jumpy as a frog. W what happened? We're trying to find out. She looks ready to bolt. Can I get you anything? Just get this over with so I can go home, please. Tess, the woman who did this is a suspect in a serial killer case. Don't worry, you aren't the target. You were just a way to get in the building. But she's taken another agent hostage, and we need to know everything so we can find him. Oh, Lord. Mama said this job was a bad idea. I should have listened. I'll help, but I don't know what I can tell you. Tell me what you remember. I got off work, and I came out here. I was stepping over to my car, and someone asked if... If I had dropped something, I started to turn around and then, and, and then she blew this powder in my face and, oh, oh, I don't know. I can't remember past that. You're all right, Tess. You're safe now. Did she have a southern accent too? No, she sounded like she was from around here. What did she look like? She had blonde hair and a long coat, I think. I didn't see her face. I'm sorry. Any other details? What kind of build? How tall? Oh, um, gosh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe your height? Sort of average build? Can you give me a minute, Tess? I need to review some facts. Alright, but not too long. I'm sorry. I just really want to get home. Of course. Tess, thanks for staying for this. 
I know it'll be tough, but I need for you to think about what happened and remember as many details as possible. I, I'll try, Agent. that woman put in her pocket? Tess, would you check your pockets for me? M my pockets? Um, all right. It's not mine, I swear! How, how did you know? Call it a hunch. And don't worry, I know it's not yours. Thanks for staying to talk to me, Tess. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Everything helps narrow it down. Get yourself checked out at the hospital. Someone will give you a ride there. And if you do think of anything, give me a call. I will. Oh, I'm sorry. I never got your name. Erica Reed. Someone was looking for you. Her name was Cordelia? You weren't in when she came by and everything was all crazy with what happened to Director Davies. I took down her number and left it with Gwen when I got off my ship. Thanks. I'll get it from her. I don't think this job is for me after all. This is all just too much, but good luck with your case. Take care, Tess. What's wrong? You look out of sorts. I don't know what I'm going to do! We've got missing evidence. I think it was that woman who took Sully. What did she steal? Evidence from the Wise Monkey case. We had four charms from the crime scene, but three of them are gone now. And I've got these forms to take to McAdams, and oh shoot! Just breathe. Tess told me she took down a phone number for me and gave it to you? Right, I forgot all about it. Here you go. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. McCoy? Red? Are you still on Davy's case? McAdams took me off it. Yeah, I'll let you know if we learn anything new, Erica. You found her. That's more than anyone else here could manage. Didn't stop her from being killed. I'm gonna do everything I can to find Sully. But I feel responsible for what happened to Davies. You didn't kill her, Erica. It's not your fault. Ugh, I know. I just wish I could nail the asshole who did. So, McAdams hasn't changed a bit. How long do you think he'll stay? Probably just until Davies' murder is solved. He's better suited to DC. Well, considering how fast he got out of here after Scott died, I think he agrees. So why fill in up here? The top brass says go, you don't ask questions. All right, you do, but McAdams doesn't, even if he doesn't like the assignment. Besides, he knew Davies for years. He wants to bring in her killer. You almost make him sound like a half-decent guy. He doesn't have your spirit, Skippy, but that doesn't make him a bad person. Try not to piss him off too much, huh? <laughs> no promises. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. McAdams? Agent Reed? It wasn't Tess. She was drugged and locked up in her car before anything happened up here. Shit. 
Does she remember anything about the person who came at her? Nothing too useful. Sir, given what was done to Sully and the case he was working on, I really believe that... The wise monkey. I thought of that too. I've told IT to get you access to his computer. Get on his computer and find whatever info on this you can. Abduction isn't part of the M.O. She's gotten bolder. Something must have changed for her. Find out what? Wise Monkey is your case now, Agent Reed. Find Agent Sullivan as soon as possible. I'll get back to it. See that you do. This place is a mess. At least the file I need is on top. Sully's stress ball always looks like it's laughing at me. You're gonna tell this crazy story to them over some beers at the next family reunion. Promise. All the trademarks of a Southie boy. The Pats, the Sox, the Celtics, and a big, huge Irish family. He's got three brothers and five nieces and nephews. God only knows how many cousins. Sully's hard copy of the Wise Monkey case files. Let's see what you got. The third victim was Colleen Lavery, a sophomore year Berkeley student majoring in performance found on a stage at the school, pushed from a set balcony and stabbed during the night. Her tongue and eyes were removed. This was the first time the killer removed more than one organ. A silver charm shaped like a G-clef was found with her. First victim, Luke Jensen, recently graduated Berklee College of Music. He was found behind his apartment in Brighton, pushed off a fire escape, stabbed, and his eyes removed. A silver violin-shaped charm was later found at the scene. Second victim, Nick Stewart, a.k.a. DJ Abhorrence. He spun at Jaunty Abyss, a club in downtown Boston. Pushed from a staircase outside the club, stabbed, ears removed. A silver bell-shaped charm was found with his body. Fourth and most recent victim, Heather Ann, a retired opera singer who also gave lessons. Found in her home, she'd been pushed from the upper landing of the stairs, killed on the first floor. Lived alone, no witnesses. Kelsey was one of her students up until last spring. Eyes, ears, and tongue removed. A piano charm was found at the crime scene.
sorry, busy this weekend. I can be a real bitch sometimes. Whoa, this one's from the director of the FBI. It is with great regret that I must inform the Bureau of the passing of Madison Davies, the director of the Boston field office. She was killed in the line of duty during a most recent case in Boston. Madison served with the FBI for 22 years, an excellent agent whose history of work speaks for itself. She was a sharp-minded woman with an unerring dedication to her job, an example to us all, and she will be greatly missed. Effective immediately, Samuel McAdams will be the acting director of the Boston Field Office until further notice. Sincerely, Brandon Rahal, FBI Director. Boston Office Agents and Employees. As you know from Director Rahal's email, I am filling in as the acting director in the wake of Madison Davies' death. I will be arriving in Boston in a few hours. Like you, I considered Madison a personal friend, and I have every intention of bringing her killer to justice. You can best aid in this endeavor by continuing your current assignments with your full attention, and if you are pulled onto other cases or assignments, give those your full attention as directed. As details of the funeral arrangements for Madison are made by her family, they will be communicated to you. Samuel McAdams. Southie Townie boys, don't forget our game against the Somerville Ballers is this Saturday at 2, and they've got their ringer, the infamous Miles Goodhue, in the lineup. Warm up and stretch those kicking legs, boys. Hey bro, any ideas for Mom's birthday next week? As usual, no list. Think she'd like one of those ebook things? I'll make dinner reservations at the factory. You bring in Erica? Brandon. I just gotta make sure he's going. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. The wise monkey killer is fixated on the removal of the eyes, ears, and or tongues of her victims. Each victim has been pushed from a height, stabbed in the abdomen, and then had one or more of these sense organs removed. The cause of death has either been from the head trauma of the fall or bleeding out from the stab wounds. Removal of the organs has always been post-mortem. Kelsey was gaining confidence as she continued to kill. It looks like Sully thought they might all be connected to her and the deaths were part of some personal vendetta. Makes sense. Revenge killings are fairly common for female serial killers. Her method's particularly gruesome, though. Question is, why Sully? We've only had this case for a few weeks. How'd she even know he was on it, much less have time to plan this? One evidence form coming up. Kelsey Gardner, age 21. Born and raised in White Rock, New Mexico. Moved to Boston to attend Berklee College of Music, majoring in performance and composition. Dropped out in the middle of her junior year. Last known address is in Dorchester. Reported missing by her parents last June after a few weeks of not hearing from her. Last seen entering her apartment by neighbors two weeks prior on May 30th. Worked at a nearby coffee shop. Didn't report for any shifts after May 30th. She was suffering from financial issues at the time. Circumstantial evidence suggests she may have run away. Everyone on this list was musically inclined in some way. I need to find out more about Kelsey to figure out where she might have taken Sully. The Dean of Students at Berkeley is a good place to start, and her landlord can probably let me into her old apartment.
Let's see what this gets me. I need the charms that are in evidence for the wise monkey case. Thanks to that thief, I've only got one. Fill out the form and it's all yours. I hope it helps you catch that awful woman. Here's the form. Okay, hang tight for a minute. Hope that helps. It will, thank you. I've done everything I can from here. Time to hit the street. <laughs> 